Right, so I like that. Yo, um, another thirty minutes went past. I feel like we section this this episode really well. We need to like take some notes from ourselves. Question: You mentioned <laughs> you mentioned uh Baltimore earlier. Yeah, you were in a space where like you were super invested into like Baltimore music, specifically the underground music. Yeah, which I love. Yeah. Me, not so much. I kind of like I kind of skated into this. Yeah, kinda, right. Um, I'm wondering from your perspective, like, what do you, what do you think the state of like Baltimore music is at, and not selfishly, not, not um, just from your realms. If you could think outside the box and really look outside into Baltimore as a whole, as a culture, when it comes to music, where do you see it right now? Um, bu- 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 I feel like it's leaning too far into one direction. Like what? Meaning that it's it's like like Baltimore is becoming synonymous with street music. And it's always been a thing, you know what I mean? But we've have a beautiful we have a beautiful tapestry of creatives mm-hmm. that create a variety of styles of music outside of street music. But because street music catches that fire so much and grows so quickly, it I kind of outshadows the great the greats like the Greenspans and you know what I'm saying this person and that person like people that create beautiful music that just doesn't get the same notoriety because that audience isn't there like he does he's not he's not isn't, he doesn't build his music around this type of thing you know what that, I mean but, isn't that hip hop though I mean we don't it ain't like we got a thousand J Cole's but we got a thousand money bag yo's with all due respect. Not like I'm not trying to disrespect money bag yo, but right. like you got no, no, no. more people that make similar music to money bag yo, Lil Baby, 42 Doug. Like more people right. make similar music like that than a, a J. Cole. Like, yeah, it's a what? lot of people who make music like J. Cole. We can name them. Andre 3000 was one of them. Uh uh um shit. Uh, uh what damn <laughs> shit. Uh no, you, you yeah, I can't it. even, but it's a, it's a lot, like like Big Sean. The, um, the difference is those people came up in a time period where investors were willing to take a risk because it was about the music and it wasn't about the genre mm. or it wasn't about the topic. Now it's <clears throat> the, the money goes behind whatever the topic is. You know what I mean? All right, I want more sexy reds or I want more of this. So like, that's where the money goes. So like, and, and I'm, I'm and I'm not here to judge one or the other. Like yeah. I love Moose just as much as I love a J Royale. I love YG Tech just as much as I love an icon to God. Like I love, you know what I'm saying? I love both sides, meaning that I enjoy the music. There's, you're going to hear me bumping some moves the same way you're going to hear me bumping somebody else. Like, <clears throat> but the problem is the younger generation is like, they don't want to hear it. If it's not this, they don't want to hear that. Mm. And even if I play it for something for them and they'd be like, man, that's dope. They not necessarily want to add it to that because they don't want, you see a lot of people like the generation I came from we stood on being the first nigga to hear some shit and we like though that's my shit mm. now it's like these young kids is like all right is that's what's hot oh I'm gonna listen to that all right so it's tech the guy all right we're going to listen to tech all right every tech is the realist instead of going like yo I found somebody over here that's completely different man this shit is hard you ain't never heard that shit before it's like conformity has become the formula we all got to conform. We all got to dress the same. We all got to fucking wear the same sneakers. We all got to go to the same places, talk to the same. We all got to mess with the same girls. Like, that's the problem with this new generation. Instead of, I don't like, I when I grow up, I was like, I don't want to dress like you. I don't want to. You got those sneakers. I don't want those sneakers. Nah, because mm. you got them. I, I wanted to have a different look. I wanted to have a different vibe. Like, and that's, it kind of shows in the way I am now. When I see other people doing some shit, I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. Right. So, like, it actually causes a lot of arguments in my meetings with my team because a lot of them want me to be like, yo, we should be more like this other thing. And I'm like, I don't want to be left like them niggas. And I don't give a fuck if that works on the numbers. Like, we got to figure it out. But you know what I mean? Had, we had a similar... <laughs> But we, oh, had, we had that argument all the time. We, we had, had that argument all the time. Right, like, like it was different. It was it was the opposite with us though. What you mean? Oh, so oh, <laughs> so you trying to, <laughs> that's only with certain shit. That's only with certain shit. Please, like, because when it comes to behind the scenes business, business is is that is it's not. It's just yeah. what it is, bro. Like you know what I mean? I think you, I, I just that. think the industry is like that in general. I don't think it's just a Baltimore thing. I think 
that's just what it is. Like I feel like the street yeah, niggas, they rough. are they win for a reason, and they've always been winning. So when it comes to Baltimore, ain't no different. Like you got YG Tech, you got Young uh, Young Moose, you got right. Money Jake, you got NSG right. Chaz, you got like it's like right. these niggas are winning because they in the streets. But that's the same right. across the board in the industry. Like, and I, w- I will also say this is that like when you are street, when you are young, like the ones that reach the top are the ones that understand that I got to use whatever I got to get where I need to go. Mm-hmm. The Each one of the ones that's the ones right now, if you sit down and hear them tell a story, it wasn't about having a fuck ton of money. It was about taking taking advantage of a moment or finding something that fucking people really tapped into and they ran them streets and ran them numbers up, bro. Well, like, who, who pops first? What? In, in what situation? What do you mean? Baltimore. Tech is first out the gate, and 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 we even talking about Moose being in a position he in with uh with Yeezy, and I don't even know if that's really a position or if that's just some really him taking some pictures and trying to make it seem something. Wait, no, nah, it's a position, nigga. Did you see? He went from fucking he he had to have like a hundred and fifty thousand followers, bro. The oh, nigga yeah, is did. at one point one million. Okay, you said okay, like that's a big deal. Do you really want to have this conversation? Yeah, I mean, we, we should talk about Baltimore. This is the shit that's going to get us the clicks, right? I mean, shit, let's, let's do it. It's going to get me shot, too. I'm here. You in Atlanta. You oh, can do oh yeah, you... no. I don't want to get you shot. No, oh, well, no, no, no. But no, uh, we going to do that. Not, but maybe not. Wanna... Let's not have a conversation. Make... No, 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 no. Uh, uh, what's this dude person? Sir, 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 said so said, for me to start my platform, I need some real capital. No, you don't. You need some capital, but you don't need no real capital. I feel like that's the bullshit. We're gonna get into that in a little bit. But let me back to Moose. I love Moose. Let's let's start there. I, Moose has looked out for me. I've gotten three Moose interviews in my lifetime. None of them on camera. They were all radio stuff before I realized that cameras were important. He did the cover of my magazine. The day the day he got out of jail, he did an interview for me, a photo shoot, and an interview for my magazine all in the same day. He had his babies with him, his baby mother, his uncles, his cousins. He was 30 deep in my office doing a bunch of shit for me. I will never, never discount this nigga. He also gave me the ability to use his, his brand to start an additional radio station that we partnered on together. So, like, I have so much love for Moose, and I want to see him win. Mm-hmm. However, he has the tendency to be erratic. He has the tendency to not have infrastructure within his business. Moose has always been the kind of, like, he a hood nigga. He a hood nigga. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> he don't trust nobody. And that's really, if y'all want to know why Baltimore niggas ain't the, 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 the dope, dope rapper niggas that sell drugs and be rapping, the reason why they don't take off is because they don't want to do no type of business. They don't trust people fake. like me. Yeah, right. To them, business is fake. To them, you know, having to get up and do all of this organized stuff, they don't want to do that shit. And they don't want to talk to people like me that have that are experts in that field. Because to me, they're like, yo, what street you come from? Like, who 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 your family? Like, I'm not a drug dealer, my nigga. You you trying to like street fact check me is not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So so those people are naturally going to stray away from those types that that they need to take their business to another place. That's the reason why I'm like, yeah, cool. So you stood next to yay. Great. You got a, you got a million new followers. Great. So I mean, but we can't ignore that. That's a that's a huge like stepping stone to where you, where, where, you, where you want to go. He could have been making millions back when he had 100,000 followers. If you couldn't get your business right when you had a hundred thousand, now that you at one point one, it don't make no difference. The problem is still the problem. At some point, you have to go. Hey, I need to either sign with a management company or organization that's going to get me what I need, that's going to get me situated and help me conduct my business. You know what I'm saying? Or I got to learn how to do it myself. I pray. I pray on everything holy that my man gets himself into a situation where they're gonna take care of him not take advantage of him because moose is very susceptible to in in that situation where all right you could be around yay you ain't how you know what paperwork you should sign mm. he don't got a lawyer he don't got an entertainment lawyer he has nobody that really knows the game like well, that. we don't know that we can't say that we don't we don't know that we don't right now he, he might not have had it before 
Hey, I'm just saying we don't know that. We we can't we don't know that man business right now. He I might know. he you had like we can we can grow every day. We grow I every love, day. I love you, Moose, bro. I only want the best for you. I want you to do millions. I feel like you have the ability to be one of the illest niggas out. Yeah, when he comes out and he be fussing like I put all of these niggas on, Moose is not wrong. No, bro. I mean, I mean, Moose put yeah. all these we can't like bro, Moose was, right now. Moose is one of the originators when it comes to this new hip hop shit in yeah. Baltimore, right? right? Like, He's I mean, I, I think, and again, you were here before me, but right. once a time smash right but after the smash era and the uh the 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 uh who was it Go uh there's a smash boss man mully man yeah like after that era it came a new era and i think I, and, and and if i'm not mistaken i think god rest his soul scooter. i think it was moose first then came moose, scooter then, then scooter yeah then uh, then this whole new wave yeah, you know so what i'm like, saying I, I don't um yeah, I, I don't know. Like, so I, I I'm with him on that. Like, I feel him. But mm -hmm. I, I was just wondering, do you think? So, I don't think it's a who pops first, really. I think it's what is the success in their eyes, and what is the success to Baltimore? Nah, for me, the question is, what are you gonna do for the city when you pop? What can you, you do? Gonna, That's not a fair question. What what, what do you, what do you expect them to do? Okay, let me tell you what Tech can do. Easy. Tech can easily do this. Tech takes the next three years. Mm -hmm. He signs to a major. He pops big singles, two, three back to back smash hits worldwide, touring, opening up, doing his own thing, killing it. Mm -hmm. Then he uses that leverage to get a label situation, meaning that he gets investment capital. Mm -hmm. Somebody gives him fifty million dollars. He opens up a label office in Baltimore, fully funded. So now what a smart nigga would do is go find the major producers in the city that make hot records that know how to know how to, you know, uh, 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 you know, what I mean, develop artists, put them in situations and say, bring me the next hot thing. And then he becomes the conduit through which artists can come through r&b singers rappers they are, now they can come through no excuses records or whatever the name of the label is going to be like that's what i'm talking about being able to put real money into situations the same thing dream bigger was doing with uh because like they were creating d1 was creating a whole situation where artists could be funneled through a system so you had take go first then you had band hunter izzy then you had um, what's the two boys that did, they did the group before Shorty Shorty, Shorty broke off? Peso the Mafia. Uh, Peso the Mafia. Yeah, Peso the Mafia came through. Then it was Shorty Shorty. Then they was working on my man's um, which call it? See, that's what that's what we needed. We needed a system. But they didn't. Was, but but I don't think yeah. it's fair to put the the artist shouldn't have that that hold on that back. Like I can't expect YG Tech to put that together. That's not that's not his place to do. His place is to become this it's, dope. The, this, this good ass rapper, and I want to, I want to bring this, I want to bring this up because I, I literally yeah. just seen this conversation with LaRussell Russell and uh, Waka Flocka, right? Like, okay. I don't think that YG Tech is our knight in shining armor and our savior. Like, he's a dope ass rapper, and I think he should be able to have the space to be a dope ass rapper. Like, to have, to have that expectations of he should be a rapper, he should get on, get fifty mil, open up a a record label in Baltimore so he can get other artists. Like, no, like he. I think him just being from Baltimore, representing Baltimore, doing some collabs with artists from Baltimore is good enough. Like, bro, that ain't. I agree with that. If that's what he decides to do for himself, I'm never going to knock him for that. You're never going to hear me go, yo, you could have did so much more. No, nah, him being. Let me tell you something. Why Tech, what he's done right now, he don't really have to do nothing else. He has set a precedent that no artist before him has ever been able to do to independently establish yourself as a fully functioning business with multiple entities involved in it and to have enough streaming money to where you don't have to work a day job and you are comfortable. You are a success, bro. He is already a success. Like you were saying it as if he got pop and he should bring back and like get a record label. No, I'm saying, I mean, you were asking me kind of like, yo, what how do you feel like you know what I mean? We could we could change the change the game. And I'm saying that would be, that would be a great way to change the game. That would be something that I think 
I don't feel like he has to do that. I if think, he would, I know that he wants to do it because that's been a part of his plan. Like he's been he's been wanting to to drop his label, but but it's, you know it's what I think? Not- I think I would look at that job to be for somebody like you or Ronald. Right. That's your space. Correct. Right? Like it, like my job would be to create a, a notable name for media in Baltimore. As right. I grow, I come back to Baltimore and I create a space where artists can come to Baltimore or when they do come to Baltimore, they have a mainstream platform. Anything right. other than that, like, you feel me? So no, like to, see, to say that like... It, he what, should have to like make a a, a record label. It's like, oh, hold up, let's slow down. Like, I want to. I mean, let me let me play this. I want to. I want to get your thoughts. Let me play this. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Russell, these guys put together hundred million all together and create a big major label. But hold up, I'm gonna re- I'm gonna refresh it. Why didn't Diddy Jay Z? Uh, fucking. How do I make it bigger? Pause. <laughs> um. Damn, I oh, that's that. a good question. Yo, don't you got a thing that can make you uh that make that window bigger or pause? Uh, make the increase the size of the font and all that like a thing to make the whole screen bigger. I don't nah, know. Nah, I, I clearly I'm suck at this. Hold up, I'm gonna just go back. Who page is that on? Oh, that's on the Russell page. Yeah, yeah. Is that old? Uh, it's not that old. Why didn't Why didn't Diddy, Jay Z, uh, fucking Russell, these guys put together hundred million all together and create a big major label? But some something, right? Some things don't be for them to bring for every message isn't for every messenger. You got a certain message that you're supposed to bring to the world that's only gonna come through you. It wasn't for them niggas to do because I be thinking that shit all the time. I'm like. Some of the shit I be doing that niggas like that shit groundbreaking. It ain't no new shit. Nigga, we've been throwing parties in the backyard my whole life. But I was the first nigga to be like, no, we gonna take it mainstream. And it's like, why? It's just cause I was the one that was supposed to do that. You feel me? Why didn't Yeah, so I don't know if that answers the question, but these guys put together hundred million all together and create pause that joint. My bad. No, you good. But yeah, like I don't like yeah, I don't think that that message needs to come from tech though, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. If anything, just collab with other artists from the city, which he's been doing, right? I mean, that's what I would yeah, say. Different. Like even different. this conversation of like Los, like I think Los, I don't think people give Los enough credit because I feel like again, when I went to LA, and I'm not just saying it's the safe face, like I don't like bro, I don't I'm the same regardless. Like, I'm sorry, I don't say it's a safe face, but I say that to say, like, when Los, when I went to LA, I think I stayed in Los Crib. Right. Everybody I know that went to LA link, link with Los. But somehow, every time there's a conversation around Los in Baltimore, he ain't do shit. It's like, God damn, what do y'all expect him to do? I, I feel like the problem with certain people that got that perspective is like, they didn't, he didn't do what they felt like he should have did. Or he might not have returned that DM or came to their event or whatever. Like sometimes well, everybody, people like, bro. Every, it's not everybody. You, you know what bro. that remind me of? <laughs> yo, yo, there's a lot of fucking Los fans that just love Los. And I mean, like, yo, and, and but the thing is, is that when Los tap step in, like this is the crazy part. Los has done so much for so many random niggas that didn't know what to do with his celebrity. That was the fucking problem. He would come through, swing through Baltimore for niggas for damn near little to nothing. Come do a whole concert, do a show for a nigga, show up, sign autographs, do all type of shit. And niggas didn't know what to do with the niggas don't even know how to put him in the right space. So a lot of people didn't see it. They didn't see the charity. They didn't see the love. They didn't see him putting them efforts for because it wasn't enough, you know, notoriety around it. But go ahead. But no, that's what I'm, I'm sorry. saying. I feel like. I don't know. Every a lot of the conversations I hear around Baltimore, when it comes to Baltimore, and we talking about Los, is always he don't put on for the city like he should. And I'm like, bro, everybody I know from the city that went to LA, they ain't going to LA without going through Los first. Word. Now, if, if I, I, I've 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 had the conversation that all of the older acts should be connecting with the younger acts, and there should be more back, meaning that like. If I'm if I'm Cisco, I should be going to tech and being like, "Yo, what how, what can I do to help?" What can Cisco you know what do for tech though? Take him on tour, 
do a record together? Like, I don't know. I mean, you know, but people even Cisco don't want to hear no YG Tech. <laughs> and the niggas that listen to YG Tech don't want to hear no Cisco. Cisco. I mean, but even if it's just mentorship, even if it's just giving you information or walking you in the doors, like that should just always be that, you know, I mean, give and take for everything. Same thing, whether if it's uh, uh, like, all right, Los, you feel like Los and Tech can't do a record together? Like, and that wouldn't mean something? Yeah, but it just happened. Like, Los ain't putting on no music right now. Like, he's, I think he's working on a project now. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If he's working on a project now, I would love to see a a, a feature from Los and, and YG Tech. Yeah, that would be fire. But like other than that, Los has been doing his thing, you know, getting his money with his with his features and shit like that. Like he ain't been really doing it. Like if anything, Tech got the upper hand. Tech been outside, and I, and I yeah. love I love Los. I'm just being. I'm just. I love. I, I I feel like like I said, Tech is in the most. He's in the best position ever. However, there's still Even information. A, I, I don't know. I like we, we discount information like it doesn't mean shit. Cisco used to be one of the biggest artists in the world, bro. Sure. So even just letting a nigga understand what it's like to operate in that space and even down to just being open to open. And, like, once again, just I, I want the young and the old to stop being so separated from each other. Like, yo, y'all don't have to do a record together for y'all to be family and, and to be there to support each other as they grow. You know what I mean? Tech, tech is in a unique space. So he needs information. So like, you know what I mean? Just being a part of each other's ecosystem or just being around each other makes a difference. You know what I mean? So, and, and that's where we have to start being as Baltimore. Baltimore needs to just be around each other. Mm. Bro, we don't all need to be in our little cubby holes looking at each other, making statements about each other without knowing each other. Get together. Like, Houston niggas be together, nigga. Atlanta niggas be together. Like, I they feel like Baltimore niggas be together. It's just not every like where in the world is everybody with everybody like even in Atlanta I'm learning that them niggas not fucking with each other like they fuck with their group but their group are just lit New York they don't fuck with everybody but their group is lit so we just got to get a group of niggas that's hot and get more than one group because if we look at it tech is fucking with Scola tech yep. is fucking with uh Roddy Rex tech is fucking with Chaz yep. tech is fucking with uh like I, I, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of hearing that. Like Baltimore is not something because of X, Y, and Z, bro. These niggas fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Hey, um, I want to, I want to make a comment. Somebody in the joint, I forgot, none, none, none over or whatever. I don't know what that means. The vets got to stop gatekeeping, young lady or whomever, man, sir, whoever you are. Let me tell you something. The name of the game is follow the leader. Period. You create hot shit. People are gonna follow you. Yes. People only gatekeep when you ain't got nothing to come through the door with, and you <laughs> and you saying open the door for me, and they like what you got for me, and you ain't got shit. You just feel like niggas should just open the door. No, nigga, you need to build your value up to the point where they don't have a choice. I think you know what I mean. I I, I I think again. I think I said it before. I know people might not agree with this, but I just I don't I don't think Baltimore has a sound. I think that's the issue. Like. Sound. If you listen to what's the sound? Because if you listen it's like to, a mix, it's that, a mixture between like D Detroit and 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 fucking and. But listen and to another. what you just said. The sound is a mixture of Detroit. Detroit right, sounds like what? No. Detroit. Atlanta yeah. sounds like what? Atlanta. Like yeah. Uh, uh, that Memphis yeah. sounds you know like what? what? Memphis sounds you like Memphis. What? So like when you but, you know what Baltimore sound is. Club music, Mighty Mark, nigga. Go get you a Mighty Mark record. Go get you a Mighty Mark album and turn the fuck up. I That's love Mighty I Mark, but niggas don't want to hear that shit. Nobody listen to no fucking club music. I don't want to hear that problem. shit. Oh, and then, but then put some drill on it and shit. Throw some guns in the video and let's go. Like, hey, the but club we culture want to hear that, but we don't want to hear that. Like, I got respect for Mighty Mark because I know the, the, the impact he has on the culture, but I know that from my experience. But outside of me knowing that, that, niggas don't give a fuck. Like, I know that because I'm invested in, in the culture. But the, these everybody else that's not invested, they they could care less. You, we already we already said that the hip hop, the 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 streets is running the 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 the, uh, the rap scene right now, right? So with that right. being said, and I'm not trying to be ignorant. Again, I love Mighty Mark. I hope Dang niggas can't dance. I'm just playing. I'm no, so I'm looking you. at like, bro, you listen to YG Tech, you yeah. listen to Roddy Rax, yeah, and as he chads, uh, fucking yeah. um, uh, it's so Money Jake, uh, TMC the Don. Even when you go down to um, Shorty Shorty, they all sound different. Wabi Escola. None of them niggas sound the same for real. Thank God. But I think, Keep I think that's the issue 
It's like no, we can't break through not. because we don't have one sound. I don't necessarily feel like we need one sound to break through. I just feel like uh, niggas need to continue doing great business and they need to build their businesses up. Like, that's what they need to do. And they can't keep... I feel like the problem with the, these young dudes that's popping right now is they think the solution is, let me drop another song and another video. Yo, y'all right, let me continue to drop another song and another video. Yo, niggas ain't launching a merch. Niggas ain't building brand... You got like, rid of not, a launching merch, though, Jay. Come on, man. I ain't seen yo, no money bag yo because he was like, fucking crazy. dropping a shirt. Like, but money bag yo is signed to Yo Gotti, bro. Like, before he was signed to Yo Gotti, he was making music. That's why he got signed to Yo Gotti, though. Yes, he got signed, but he had street money. Then took the street money to get signed, and then got on tour. So he don't have to worry about that. We talking about being independent in Baltimore. We don't have an upstream right now. So like a lot of these niggas, the only thing you could do is build a business so that you can focus on doing music every day. If you don't build a business around what you do, you're never going to be able to take it to the next level. All you're going to be doing is dropping songs, dropping videos, dropping songs, dropping videos, smoke a lot of weed, eat, fuck bitches, have 15 kids, drop a song. Drop, like that's I, all these niggas do here. I feel like we need one. They said we don't need one. I think we need one. If you look at Memphis, Memphis sounds like Memphis. Detroit sounds like Detroit. Atlanta sounds like Atlanta. I feel like once you once New York once, sounds once, like New York. I feel like once we start moving and grooving a little bit more, once we once we get a couple of super really hot, I mean, we do have a bunch of hot producers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not trying to disrespect none of the greats that's from this city, but we need to like once that ha once the producers in the city really start focusing on creating a unique sound, then you'll get that. Mm. But like yeah, it's it's gonna take it's gonna take yo it's gonna take time and collaboration and the artists have to want to create that sound like right now niggas is just trying to do whatever they need to do to get on mm. so like you know and 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 right now it's like yo it's once again it's a game of follow the leader all right is this what this was making niggas go crazy all right pull up one of them beats how many times oh man let me tell you how I many times like, i can't the second time I've been this. This, hold on I can't tell you how many times I've been in studio sessions and what niggas will do. I need to start a new song. Yo, pull up a like Yo Gotti beat. Yeah. And they'll go to YouTube yeah. and be like, Yo Gotti type beat. And then they'll literally go listen to the beats, pick one and start doing songs. If that ain't follow the leader, I don't know what the fuck else. But go ahead. No, I was going to say, I've seen the, the, the club music reference again. I just, I don't know. I personally don't think that's, I mean, I hope it's it, but I don't think that's the, that's going to push us over the top. I want to get some more people from the city on here. I, I want to have this conversation with other people from the city. I feel like, well, how, fuck, I'm just an old nigga and, and, and you a fucking, you know, young nigga. So I, I feel like we need to bring some more artists. Let's have the argument with them niggas. Tell them to jump on this fucking live and let's go crazy. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> tag who y'all want to be. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to them. Nigga, they got their own thing. We got our own thing. I love them. <laughs> But I don't, want them, I don't, I don't, I didn't ask them to come buy into our show. I just want them to come on and talk some shit. Like, I mean, because I really want to ask the nigga, well, why don't you, why isn't, all right, all right, what is your focus? And why isn't your focus on creating a unique sound that's just Baltimore? Because they might tell you, they might tell us some different shit. Like, nigga, we is a Baltimore sound. Like, this mm. is, and then we can go, really? Because <laughs> sometimes niggas might, might know, all right, here, here they go. I think OTR right. Chaz might. OTR, so what I will say is the groups might have different, the groups might have similar sounds. Like OTR Chaz has a similar sound to a Roddy Rex. Word. Like similar. Uh, Jerry Holmes says your circle too small. Whose circle is too small? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about, young man? You, y all, y all, see, y'all better start checking y'all background for y'all getting this comments talking shit. Because <laughs> y'all don't know who the fuck you talking to. <laughs> ain't, ain't much moving around this city I don't know about. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, Let's let's uh let's just continue to have some fun. Yo, I really wanted to real quick. I want to talk about the freshman cover. I want to talk about the freshman cover. And I Why know you don't give a fuck. Because I want to talk about I just said I want to talk about the freshman cover. Now, um, I'm super excited. Two artists that I super fuck with is on this cover. Both of them from Texas. That's crazy. Do you know who's you don't know? You don't know none of these niggas. I know Big but, X the uh, Plug. I know Maya the Don. I know Honcho. I know Scarlet. I know uh skiller baby i know um the other nigga from texas that 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 um the uh, that with the grills i know boss man d -Lo. i know who else is on here um four bets 
four bats. I never, I never heard of. All right, I only know four bats because Drake, Drake did a remix that is wrong. Mm-hmm. I never heard of Cash Cobain. I know Cash Cobain from New York. Yeah, he he, he did, he did a lot of. of he's writing for for Drake. Okay, who's Skiller Baby? Skiller Baby, um, Gary, you know you're fine. Like, uh, I forgot whatever something like, but Skiller Baby is hot, boy. He's going crazy right now. Were okay. Uh, I don't. Uh, Rich Ar- Amiri. So Rich Amiri, I really don't know who he is, but um, Wayno was just put me on yesterday. He was saying like he got super motion. Mm. And Lay Banks. Uh, I don't know who that is. Okay, so the reason why I'm even bringing this up as a topic of conversation is to me, I feel like this is a reference point of what's popping for the time period. Double mm-hmm. XL does a, a, a you know pretty fair job of picking out of the menagerie of artists that's in the field and going, all right, these are the people that are the most impactful in this time period. They may not be the highest streaming artists because they're new, but Hey, they're impacting in the area that they're going in and their wave in motion is enough to say that we can see them doing big things in the next year or two. Meaning that you're moving from the freshman class, being a complete independent that don't nobody know to now you about to move on a national stage. I love that conceptually. You know what I mean? Like, to me, it's important that we keep our eye on what's coming up as well as talking about what's new. Of this list, there's only really two artists that I really love off this list that I'm like, yo, these niggas is really, I listen to them on a regular basis. And the first one is, hold up, where the fuck, where's the fluff ball? My stuff at, all right. So the first one is him. Uh, Big, Big X, X the plug. plug. I love Big X the plug, bro. I love, and I hate all of you dirty bitches and niggas that get in his comments and talk about how big he is, even though he's crazy big. That's that's definitely needs to see the doctors, maybe hit the gym. But I still love him because his music is fire. I've got about eight, ten songs that I picked out of all his projects, and I got a playlist, and he go crazy. Yo, that Mexican OT is my other absolute favorite right now like him having the music videos with the chickens and the fucking horses like him showing this this really country vibe with doing that you know signature texas sound crazy music uh the next thing i would say shout out to is scar i've just been hearing a lot about boss man Dilo, but most of it has been like tmz drama him with different women and stuff like that and then scar is scar lip or i thought it was lip scar i've heard a lot about her recently because of some twerking thing but i've also seen some records that she did i think it's kind of dope i just don't understand it could be argued that she don't belong on it i could see somebody arguing that yeah, I don't understand, you know, what all of that is. But my bottom line comment is, if I don't have a double XL, how the hell would I even know what's popping nationally? Mm. Like, there's so much going on streaming wise. There's so much going on on my Instagram. Like, I'm being serviced with so much different stuff, even on YouTube, because there are so many new artists coming out. Yo, we got to respect the fact that double XL is at least going, hey, nigga, we're doing, we're at least paying attention enough to pluck out some names and present them to you. Now, my question to you is, do you feel like there's somebody that's not on the list that you feel like should be on the list? Yeah, Shibuzi, for sure. I don't know if they do like straight country, but Shibuzi, 100%. No, no the only reason why Shibuzi doesn't work because he's, he's straight country music right now. He used to rap. But Shibuzi, that nigga. Like, Shibuzi, I'm surprised you even said that. What the fuck? Where, the, where did you find out about Shibuzi? Shibuzi, man. Uh, I love... Uh, have you listened to the album? The album yeah, the is album so... Is good. The album is fucking amazing, bro. I love Shibuzi. And I've been on Shibuzi for about a year. You know what I'm saying? Um, When he dropped that first slow joint that I really love. But shout out to him. Um, Outside of Shibuzi, I definitely feel like they got this list right this year. Yeah, I, I mean... I yeah, I, I was I was talking with Dwayne. I could see a couple of them maybe. Sh- sh- I could see the argument for them not being up there, um, but mm-hmm. uh, I definitely think so. If this is just hip hop, if Double XL is just hip hop, then I, I would see why mm-hmm. not Shibuzi. But he's going crazy. Um, I think they got it right. Like I agree with you. I think Bossman D'Lo is super consistent right now. He's like he mm-hmm. he's probably one of the hottest niggas on there. But so is Honcho. Like Honcho 
I mean, he's going on I, like his second tour now. Like Honcho, like he's been had the juice for a minute. Um, the only person I would say maybe should be up there, maybe Rob Four Nine. I, I don't think I see Rob Four Nine. Rob Four Four Nine yeah. can be up there. Uh, right. uh, I like Maya the Don, but I don't know if I would say she belongs there. Maybe, maybe not. You know, but I like her. Um, uh, somebody said Tommy Richardson. I ain't got that. That's the key. That I mean, I only that heard one song. With a record. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I only, he only got the one record. Uh, Young Mo. I never heard no records from Young Mo. And uh, and Blast uh was on the list four or five years ago player y'all 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 missed that train and i think rob 49 was on there a couple of years ago so like but shout out to y'all um rob 49 was on there a couple years ago couldn't have been yeah he was he's already he's already been on there he's already been on there uh oh, he said it was there last year okay Got okay you. i'm gonna say not a couple years oh. ago um but yeah man like i i like this list I've heard, I've seen lists in the past where I'm like I don't know who the fuck any of these people are on the list and I really didn't care less. But when I saw this drop, I was actually kind of like, wow, Same. this is cool. Like Same. for me to actually know the people that are on the cover, I don't know. Maybe that's a and maybe it's a thing where I'm like I'm finally starting to see uh, things. But it, the next thing it drew me to my next question was like, yo, who is gonna be the lead? Who are the leaders of the new school? Meaning that who is the top of the food chain? in the game right now Boss so Mandito. what it did was okay you feel like oh i'm talking about the top of the top of the food chain not the freshman these freshman niggas definitely ain't the top of shit. i mean see, I but, ain't a lot. boss man d-lo is is, is 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 up there right now now you would think because we just been talking about drake and fucking kendrick lamar for the last couple of months and everybody would assume that you know Kendrick is going to be on that list of the top streamers. We're saying as of June 3rd, 2024, Drake is the most streamed male rapper on Spotify with 7.7 .7 billion streams probably a month. Followed by Travis Scott, 5.5 billion, Kanye West, 5.2 billion. Then behind that comes Future with 4 billion, uh, 21 Savage with 3.9 billion, Lamar with uh, 3.8 billion, Eminem with 3.3 billion, Playboy Cardi with 2.6 billion, Lil Uzi Vert with 2.4 billion. My problem, and then of course, Nicki Minaj comes right behind that with hers and uh, Doja Cat with 943 million uh streams so my the reason why i'm bringing this up is because if we look at this list there are no new school x everybody on this list is damn near 10 years in but even if you, you're talking about playboy cardi and, and little uzi verb these are seasoned vets all of these are seasoned vets so i'm trying to understand you know who i think that's why though i mean i think that's why they're they're not up there because this this is a catalog of music they have years of streams that's piling up that's why they have so many it's not just two to three years so i don't even think we can compare it this i don't think that that would be fair okay so uh let's see none over said these are the real leaders of the new school hands down she's saying lord dirk lord baby kodak black money bag yo and nba young boy um would you feel like the leaders of this time period are those guys if we're saying if we're putting those mega gods that I just listed the top streamers, do we really say that Lil Dirk is at the forefront of what's going on right now? The young and I'm talking about cultural impact. Go ahead. The younger people, I think that's what they're saying. I think like when it comes to the the younger generation, they help. They are the one that helped spearhead this, open the door for the other young to come, like a uh, like a Lil Dirk, right? Um, like a uh, 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 shit, Lil Baby. Um, I don't know what else they said, but yeah, like maybe not, they're not touching Drake and future, but when you talk about the wave on them, they definitely mm -hmm. wave. Yeah. I definitely feel like Drake and all them. I feel like they, they are like, they are out of the competition at this point. They just, because they're so big, they just exist. And when they just shake their hands, everybody come. Because a lot of these dudes, they don't come to award ceremonies no more. Like, these niggas ain't outside where everybody's out here competing. You know, when I look at Dirk and Baby and Kodak, these niggas are competing. These niggas are having to put out albums. They're the ones consistently touring. They're the ones consistently, uh, you know what I mean, making the moves. 
to 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 really move the culture. Whereas like you know Drake decided to come out whenever he come out, nigga. He'll drop a verse with a nigga, heat the block up, and then fucking go on vacation. Same thing with Kendrick. Same thing with Ye. Same thing. You know what I mean? Like they're not competing anymore because they're so established. That's the reason why I'm like it's so important to really kind of get an understanding of where this new generation is going. Like who is the top people? The only reason why I say. I hate the fact that all of these guys are pretty much the same. When you say Dirk, Baby, Black, Kodak Black, Moneybag, Yo, NBA, they're all exactly the what same. What you mean? Like music wise or? Music, you know, subject matter. They all tatted up head to toe. They all do drug, gun music. They all don't give a fuck about bitches and do whatever the fuck they want to do. And it's all about money and bitches and cars and killing. That's it. All of them. None of them are talking about anything different. They all are talking about the same. Exact shit. Dirt, little baby, money bag, yo. Kodak black, Kodak NBA black. young, boy. NBA young boy. Yeah, I can see that. That's crazy. That, like we, it's like we have gotten so far away from diversity. It's crazy. All right. Somebody said Rod wave. Mm. At a time. Wow. At a time. Yeah. Uh I feel like he's still trying to he's still trying to get past his biggest hits. I mean like I think uh, Rod Wave, like the other artists that we just talked about, none of them got established through one record. They just got established through grind and you know I mean album, you know, just dropping dope albums and mixtapes and stuff like that. Whereas you know, and I'm not trying to say it works against Rod Wave, but I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing is that he just dropped such of a mega single in his, you know, coming out that it's been working. No, he, had, because no, no, he got some he has some some hits after that. The yeah. nigga say Jid, stop. Get out of here, y'all. Stop. No, nah, niggas like Jid, though. J.I.D. That's what I'm assuming you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I love Jid, but I'm like, he's not. He's not moving. Culture. Yeah, he's not moving the needle, but I feel he's like not, yeah, he's, he's one of them people that get the respect, though. Like people know. And they respect him. I yeah, the, the, yeah. The downside of the Dreamville camp is the only person that's really got the wave going in the Dreamville camp is fucking J. Cole. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is sad, sad reflections of their boss. So, like, you know what I mean? And and I feel like they definitely need to do something different. Jid definitely needs to get off that label, and he needs to he needs to go crazy on his own. He needs to fucking work his ass off. He needs a couple of hits couple more hits with him by himself not him with somebody else and i feel like people will start like looking at him differently mm -hmm. uh you know i ain't gonna go too far off of that but anyway that's all i got with that bro i just wanted to make sure we talked about it i felt like i wanted to make sure we got some great conversation on music i'm glad we talked about some baltimore music i definitely want to bring some people on to continue this conversation and um who, who, who yeah, we got man. on Oh no, not right now. I'm oh, talking about like say, another day. Ahead, man. You want... I'll, I'll, I'll throw some people on. I'll figure out something. I wanted to be hot though. I ain't trying to bring in some niggas just to be on some random ass. Like homie what you shit. mean? Like hot? Like what? No, nah, I definitely was like, I, I definitely gonna probably reach out to Chaz or somebody like that. You know, get them on and kind of like just have some fun with it. I like OTR you, Chaz, bro. I like. Him. You know what I mean? Uh, I definitely feel like that would be good. Uh, man, I'm just tapping. Can I answer the question? Go ahead. 